Let's begin by setting up our app for our astronomy screen torch. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to set up your code base, first of all, and then I'm going to show you how to use what are called storyboards for setting the graphical components of your app. So open up Xcode 8 and follow along. With Xcode 8 open, you should be presented with the following screen. If you're not, you can use the same commands in the Xcode file new menu. And what we're going to do is create a new iOS project. So this, of course, is known as a project. Or we can click this one down here, create a new Xcode project. And when we do, it's going to take us through a wizard asking us exactly what kind of project we want. So we have different kinds of initial project setups. And then bear in mind, if you select any one of these types of iOS layouts, like a master detail, a page based, a single view, or a tabbed application, you can change those in the future within your app. There's nothing complicated you have to do in order to change it. However, of course, you can't really mix and match between a game application and a master detail application because games are completely different. So what we're going to have here is an iOS application, which is a single view. This means there is only one screen set up in the template that we're actually going to show our user. It doesn't have to stay that way, but that's how the default will be. Once you hit next, it's going to ask you for a product name. And if you're signed into your developer account, underneath that, you will have a team name. And that's just the identifier you used when you signed up. So I'm going to call this Astro Torch or something similar. You don't have to call it that. It's completely up to you. Now, down here in the organization identifier, this is the thing that identifies you as a person or a company. And normally, it's a backwards web address. So you'll have com dot something. And in my case, it's GK Micro. Underneath that, we then have a bundle identifier. And you'll notice that Xcode has appended our product name to this, Astro Torch. This identifier must be unique in the App Store. So when other apps, for example, want to interact with your app, they can reference that bundle identifier. Of course, we want our language to be Swift. And devices we can specifically develop for iPhone, iPad, or them all with Universal. Let's turn off these core data and unit tests because we're not going to cover those quite yet. Hit Next. And find a place to store your project. I'm just going to throw mine on my desktop. Hit Create. And you should have an iOS project ready to go. And it wants to access my contacts, but I'm not going to allow that. OK, I'm now going to expand that. And I'm just going to talk you through what we see on the screen, because I appreciate there is a lot happening on here. This central section that we see takes us through the identity of our app, the various things we need to sign the app, the things we're going to include like build settings and build phases. And I'm going to cover these bit by bit as we go through the course. Just know that you can access this screen by selecting the top level of our project. OK, for now, we're not interested in that. We're interested in this Astro Torch folder, which contains a bunch of Swift files, like the app delegate, the view controller, the main storyboard, the assets, the launch screen, and the info.p list. Now, all of these files do specific things. And just a very quick rundown, the app delegate is how your app communicates with the iOS operating system. The view controller holds the code for the main view that we're going to play with in this lecture. The storyboard holds the actual graphical elements that we can drag and drop. Assets.xcassettes holds things like images, app icons, and launch screens. And as of newer versions of Xcode, we can have a launch screen storyboard. Finally, we have an info.p list, which I cover a little later on. Now, the first thing we're going to learn is actually how to run our app on the simulator. If you look over at the top left corner, 
we have our app selected Astro Torch. And next to that, we have a list of devices we can choose from. And if you plug your iOS device in, it'll appear in this list. But for now, we can choose an iOS simulator. And I'll choose the iPhone SE. And to start this going, hit play. And that will build your current code, which is the default code, load it up to the simulator, and show us what that looks like. So there we have it running. And we have a blank screen, because iOS by default gives us a blank app. So that's how you run it. Come back to Xcode and hit stop on the same top left corner. And that'll stop it going. And the first thing we have to do is give ourselves something interesting to look at. Otherwise, it's kind of boring, isn't it? The place where our default app stores its graphical elements is in main.storyboard. So click that item. Now, when it opens, you're presented with a plain white box, which represents the main screen of our app, and an arrow on the left-hand side of it, which tells us this is the entry point to the app. It's the first screen that we're going to show to our users. And what a storyboard is, is usually a collection of these controllers. They're called view controllers or navigation controllers that show us how the app flows from screen to screen and what's contained inside of each screen itself or view controller. I'm going to start using the words view controller because that's the technically correct way to say these things. So we have it here and it is completely blank. If I click on it, over on the left side, we have a couple of items inside of our view controller and this tells us what it contains at the moment. The top layout guide is the bar that you see at the top. The bottom is the very bottom of your screen. And the view is all of the stuff that we're going to put in it. So let's drop something into our screen. Let's drop in the color red. Let's make it all red. So let's select this main screen and it will select the view. You can either click it on the right hand side or you can click it in this list here. Either is fine. Over on the right hand side, we are going to look at this top pane here. And if you hover over these icons, it tells us we have help, we have an identity inspector, and an attributes inspector. Click attributes, and it shows you all of the properties that you can change that apply to this view. And if we look down carefully, there is a background property that we can click and we can choose from a list of colors which are all kind of monochrome and boring. So click other and we are given a color chooser. So I'm going to select a nice red color for our astronomy torch. I'm going to close that and now I'm going to hit play. So we've changed the background color of our view and hopefully this is going to show up inside of our app. And there we have it. I didn't make it very red, clearly. I think I have a difference in the interpretation of this red compared to that red, but this might look a little different on your screen. Okay, that is it. You have created your very first iOS project. You've learned how to run it and stop it on the simulator. You've had a quick gloss over of what all of these files mean and we've played around with the storyboard. And the storyboard is simply a collection of graphical elements and screens that form part of our app.